Hello there, my very good friends. On today's wrestling news, WWE almost brought back a cult favorite stable and then didn't. I'm going to tell you all about Eric Young's bizarre WWE return and then release. WWE appear to be chasing a pretty interesting free agent. And an update on Don Callis after that AAA fan assault. I'm Adam Wilborn. And I'm Andy Murray. And this is the news. All right, let's kick this thing off by talking about the Wyatt family. What? Uh, there's a bunch of stuff floating around. Uh, I, I say floating around. People have reported uh, <laughs> that WWE uh, were going to bring back the Wyatt family. Not once, but twice, actually. So there's a new exclusive report here from Fight for Select. But before we dive into that, we should talk a little bit about uh, there's a Mike Bennett interview with Metro. Uh, the, yeah. there was, it's from 2021. But for some reason, it started doing the rounds again a bit yesterday, mm -hmm. where Mike Bennett was like, hey, there was a pitch for me to be involved in like a new version of the Wyatt family. Uh, Eric Young was maybe going to be involved as well. The pitch got to me, he didn't get to Eric Young. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, then obviously, like people were released at the beginning of yeah. the, the, the pandemic and Mike Bennett was among them. So that never happened. And there's no word on how serious that pitch actually was. However, it actually came a little bit closer to happening earlier this year year. Uh, according to Fightful Select in this report here, oh by the way, Mike Bennett was going to be Sister Abigail on TV. Fair enough. Um, five, I'm sure they've done a great job. Mike Bennett's really good. He'd have been great. He's like Give the it would have been terrible. perennially underrated man yeah. and a great follow as well. Mm, on Very the inspirational. Oldie. Yeah. Shout out to Mike Bennett. Um, Fightful Select coming through with this exclusive report here, however. Noting that prior to Eric Young's departure, now we'll talk about Eric Young a little yes, bit more in a minute. That it's weird. Um, but there were plans to reform the Wyatt family that came together this past January. Uh, it would have involved Eric Young, Bray Wyatt, and Bo Dallas, who has been playing Uncle Howdy partner what? on TV. Yeah, shocking. Sorry for the spoilers. <laughs> uh, and then this would have kicked in just after WrestleMania 39. However, Bray Wyatt fell ill, mm -hmm. of course, with the undisclosed uh, issue that's been keeping him off television. Uh, and then Eric Young left WWE and now it's done. Uh, it's noted as well that, that Alexa Bliss was actually part of pitches for this as well. But obviously she's pregnant and she's not going to be around in WWE for the rest of the year. No. So that wasn't going to happen. She's going to win the Rumble though, judging but, by, uh, yeah, by go wrestling by, fans. Predictions of, of how uh, biology she, works. She gave birth on Christmas Day. She got eight. Yeah, come on, that's four weeks. I don't know when she's due. I'm just speculating. So there we go. Why a family reunion almost happened twice? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about. It. Like, I'm, I'm, I want to. I'm intrigued to see what they do with with Bray Wyatt. And I think, uh, you know, rather than just constantly reinventing, reinventing himself and changing the moving the goalposts almost of like, here's what my supernatural spooky gimmick is. I'd, yeah, I'd rather they kind of pick an idea and yeah. stick with it. I think the Wyatt family and all the, the, the stuff that goes with it, I don't know whether I'd want to see that just sort of revamped. Uh, I would have been intrigued, yeah, to see what that would have looked like with, because obviously you assume the Uncle Howdy, Bo Dallas stuff was heading somewhere. Yeah. It's just obviously with, with Bray Wyatt's undisclosed issue, which we all hope he gets well from soon. Um, and obviously Alexa Bliss being pregnant and thank God for once they didn't say, how can we work this into a storyline? Yeah, um, yeah it, it's all sort of fallen by the wayside. But I, I, I want to see them give Bray Wyatt another go. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to be hurt again, Andy Murray. Yeah, he needs something, definitely, for sure. A Wyatt family or a new version of a Wyatt family, whether it would have been explicitly called that or yeah. not, is quite interesting to think of. I mean, personally, I'd be picking up the phone and going, hello, Eric Rowan, Redbeard. Yeah. What are you up to? Yeah. Come back. Yeah. That guy's so much fun. I, I, miss, I miss that guy and his giant spider. Um, <laughs> but let us know down below. Do you want to see the Wyatt mm. family back? Who would you put in it? Would you come up with maybe someone else for Alexa Bliss while she's away? Liv Morgan's been linked with it in oh, the past. <laughs> people, Don't get me started. Hey, listen, people like putting Liv Morgan in spooky stables. So there you go. But let us know down below. Fire in. I think, uh, I think it'll be good. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what happens next with this whole Bray Wyatt saga. But in terms of the Eric Young saga, he obviously returned to Impact Wrestling at Slammiversary over the weekend. Um, and it feels like a sort of weird fever dream. I was like, I definitely remember sitting in the studio with Andy and reporting, Eric Young signed with WWE, but they just haven't used him. He's been signed there for ages. And then he shows up, obviously, at Slammiversary. He's requested his release. This all comes from a Fightful Select report, by the way. As Andy mentioned, he was going to be a part of the new Wyatt family thing. Uh, and then, 
but well, actually before that was going to hit television, he decided, well, for a reason I'll get into in a second, to ask for his WWE release. That was granted in spring. He sat out the non-compete clause, and then he went, oh, time to return to wrestling, and popped up at Slammiversary at the weekend. According to Fightful, moral and creative reasons tied to working with one Vince McMahon were behind Young's WWE departure. Not a great surprise there. Yeah. Kind of behind him with on that one. Uh, but he tweeted after returning uh, at Slammiversary Andy, this felt good, this felt right, I made a hard choice, there is no doubt in my mind, it was the right one, which fully supports my opinion of back yourself, kids. He's done it again, I like Eric Young. Me too. I like that he's made a stand because of that dirty old bastard returning to WWE, um, and he was just not going to be utilised, was he? Because the idea of the Wyatt family thing kind of fell through. You just know that they'd have brought him in and gone, look guys, it's Eric Young. Let's job him out for three months. Let's make him a coach. Yeah. And have him never wrestle or something. Not that he can be a good coach, but you know what I mean. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's like a Craig David song, this. Resigns it, leaves Impact in, in November, resigns with WWE in December. As for his re release in <laughs> April, and he's gone after serving the non-compete. Yeah. Um, fair play to him. Fair play. I respect that move. It can't be easy walking away from the biggest wrestling promotion yeah. in the world and, and all the stuff that comes with that. But obviously for Eric at this stage in his career, where he's got very little left to prove. I mean, the mm. guy's like a gazillion time impact champion. Mm -hmm. uh, Sanity was a fun stable in WWE when it was around. He's, he's done so much in his career. We're he's, only we scared of his pyro. Yeah, oh God, yeah, that was fun. He's, he's done so many different things, like uh, uh, like go all the way back to Team Canada and stuff like that. Um, he's probably just sitting there going, you know what, I've done this for too long to, 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 to work under this crazy billionaire's crap creative. Of course, Vince came back to WWE in January and then that was kind of he resumed creative power in April when the Endeavor takeover so like I don't blame him I think this is the first time a wrestler has requested the release because of that yeah I think Dax before FTR resigned with AEW said that Vince returning made things a bit more complicated mm -hmm. for them as well but look if someone doesn't think they're going to be well used I like I really respect the move of just going nah I'm going to go somewhere else. and if you were you know disappointed that you didn't get to see Eric Young back in WWE uh, I'll give you a clue as to what Vince would have probably have someone said against him in a promo so you're Eric Young you've just said you want to win the I don't know Beyond? US championship from me and then I'd go <laughs> Eric Young more like Eric Old Huh? This thing on. Anyway. All to less. So yeah. Fear more, Nikki. <laughs> so good. Classic Bolo. lines. Bolo more. Bolo, Bolo less. I he love that device that they use in WWE. It's absolutely preposterous. But uh, he wasn't in a stable. But if you want to be part of a group, why don't you be part of the people who subscribe to this channel by putting that subscriber and ringing the bell? Yeah. There's crowbar it in. You didn't see that one coming. We, we live in the woods with the white and man scout. He's in the woods. Man, <laughs> wrestling is dead. <laughs> you should watch that, by the way. It's great. It's preposterous. It's, it's fantastic. Anyway, what are we talking about next? Uh, oh yeah, it's my story. I'm like, hey, hurry up, man. <laughs> what? Where is it? What is it? Nick Aldis. Oh yeah, oh, it's Nick Aldis is the story. Uh, WWE... Maybe he'll sign for WWE, never be used, and then leave quietly. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it, this is just a weird life that we live. Uh, is he is he coming back to WWE? Has mm -hmm. he been there? Would this go back? I have made a meal of this. I don't <laughs> think he's ever been there. Um, but WWE he are someone who should have been. Yeah, I don't think he has. He was Brutus Magnus, obviously, mm. in the NWA. Yeah, he's never been there. Uh, WWE are interested in him, however. Yeah. This is a report from PW Insiders Mike Johnson saying WWE. WWE have a high interest in bringing all this in. He has uh, been mentioned for a producer's role in WWE. Now he's just wrapped with the with Impact. Um, he wrestled Alex Shelley at Slammiversary. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you want Slammiversary review ups and downs, it's on the channel right yeah. now. Check it out. Um, he wrapped his commitments there and, and PW Insider note in a separate report that his story there was specifically designed to have a beginning, a middle and an end. That story is now wrapped. Always good. All, yeah, that's how stories work. Uh, and all this nailed every element of it. So I guess what the way, that's just a, a strange way of phrasing that it was like going to be like a short yeah, term. Yeah, package thing, deal, done. So there you go. Uh, Aldis, 36 years old, probably best known for his run in the NWA where he was World's Heavyweight Champion for like over a thousand days. 1,043, I believe. He beat Cody Rhodes for that belt. Yeah, for really elevated run. it. Who's the champion now? Uh, is it still Trevor Murdoch? I fell off of the NWA oh, when, Tyrus. when, when uh, Smashing Pumpkins Man got, got quite weird. Um, Isn't it Tyrus, is it Tyrus? EC3 for the 
I think that is. Moving I swiftly to, onwards. I tried to avoid it at all costs at the moment I heard that. Nick would be good in WWE. He's yeah. a very good character, very good talker, good wrestler. Uh, I think he'd be a good producer. Yeah, I think he'd be well utilised in either WWE or AEW, which I think a lot of people assumed he would be going to when he left the NWA. But he's done some good stuff in Impact in the interim, like you say. And yeah, like I say, he feels like someone who should have already been in WWE. Uh, but yeah, obviously he's got that relationship with Cody Rhodes. Maybe that. Uh, uh, um, but we talked about a lot of different wrestling promotions because, guys, there's more than two, you know. Triple uh, A, though. More than one, for Yeah, Triple A. Oh, boy. Um, there's an interesting development to that event over the weekend with an attack on Don Callis. <laughs> Shout out to Andrew Pollard, who covered all this of this uh, over the weekend. Um, but thankfully, Don Callis is doing okay after being a fact at after being a fact and attacked uh, at Triple Mania 31 over the weekend. Uh, it was a post-show press conference fan attack because um, of the whole Kenny Omega stuff. Uh, Brian Alvarez, the Wrestling Observer figure for online, said everything was an angle up to that point, but then a fan who was apparently upset about what Don had said to Kenny jumped on from behind, ripped his suit, concussed his eardrum, concussed his eardrum and busted open his mouth while he was trying to choke out Don from behind. Don was screaming profanities at the fan before he was pulled off, said to be livid afterwards. Thankfully though, like I say, he's doing okay and he's still expected to be a part of, uh, or make an appearance as part of Blood yeah. Guts this week on Dynamite. Yeah, good, glad he's okay. This was like, this was like a flashback to like 1970s I was wrestling. about to say that, yeah. Yeah, like when, when heels were like, just getting crap thrown at them and getting attacked and stuff. And obviously it's a pretty scary situation that someone can just get to him like that. Uh, as a product of an angle and the fan was pissed off at what he was saying to Kenny or at the press conference or whatever, whatever. Yeah, really strange, awful thing to happen. Hope Don, I'm glad Don's okay. You, yeah, you want fans to be really invested in storylines and not be like, oh, I'm too smart for this, but I know he's the heel, so I'm going to boo him. You want them to be viscerally, oh, I bloody yeah. hate you. But not to the but point. geez, not to this point. Yeah, there's obviously a line. So uh, uh, Don is like, he's a phenomenal heel. He's yeah. unreal at this. And uh, I'm glad he'll be okay for Wednesday. And I'm glad, he's had a rough few months, hasn't he? Remember yeah. Splitting his head into that five scar is... pieces. Oof. It's a gnarly scar. He looks really, weird bald as well yeah he looks like a he, he he looks yeah exactly he looks and acts like a bell end yeah which is perfect sorry for our do americans know what a bell end uh, is they do now pal if you, i was gonna say google it don't google it your pinner <laughs> you'll read pinner edge uh right let's move on to twitter questions <laughs> at what culture oh by the way i don't know if we feel like we need to say this or not don't attack wrestlers <laughs> don't or managers. Don't attack people. Don't commit crimes. Yeah. We don't endorse crimes. Yeah. Just make a nasty sign about them eating corn the long way yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, right. At what culture WWE? If you want to get in touch with us for your questions, uh, first question today comes from Vacant's Manager, who says, "Hey guys, in what scenario could you see Dirty Dom and Ray put their differences aside and team up? No heel or face turns, just differences put aside for the program." Will they ever reunite? Nah, that would be weird. Nah, nah. I, I, heel Rey Mysterio. I know he said no heel yeah, or face turns. One but. of them would need to turn heel. Yeah. One, or face or whatever. One of them would need to turn it at the moment. I know you said none, but like that's the only way it could work in my opinion. Ray is the perfect baby face veteran, sympathetic, everyone loves him, he can't turn heel, and Dom is a piece of trash and he can't turn baby face. So to me that's impossible. Yeah, I think even if you built a storyline over the next six months where eventually Judgment Day were like, we've had enough of you, you little twat, right? And they beat him up and and Ray was going to make the save. I think people were like, nah, don't save him, Ray. Yeah, no one's getting behind that. He deserves that. this. He's yeah. been a, an arsehole for so long. He's a little S-H-I-T that <laughs> it can't work. It, it's The only, it's, way, the only yeah. way they'd ever be together, and it, I suppose it doesn't technically involve a heel or face turn, is if Ray was put in a match where he had to join the flippin' Judgment Day, and then he was like, oh, I'll, go, I'll wear purple with you, son, I suppose. Even then. Even then. I'm trying to work out what Ray would be. If you've got Dirty Dom, I've, all I've got is Randy Ray. Rickety Ray, because he's quite old. Sorry, Ray. He's in better shape than me, and I'm half his age. <laughs> I'm not, he's not 70. What am I talking about? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, second question today comes from Talarian Reference Desk. Okay. What is your go-to snack to munch on while watching wrestling? Crisps. Obviously. Crisps, any specific? Crisps. What? Uh, listen, the best crisp of all time is a Walker salt and vinegar. It's just straight Keep it up. simple. Straight I up. I don't have any complaints or from me. McCoy salt and vinegar. I like Doritos Chili Heat Wave a lot. 
I like Doritos just cheese as well. Yeah. Uh, I like a lot of crisps, man. I like crisps. Didn't you, you try some new crisps recently? I saw you. With like, uh, like a weird. The Burger King, uh, Burger King Whopper flavor Doritos. They're, they are the most confused thing my palate has ever crossed. <laughs> uh, D D Doritos in the UK now, as well, do flipping pizza flavor. What? what? Yeah, what? They do a cheese option and a pepperoni option, which surely is just a pepperoni flavor crisp. <laughs> but uh, the, the recently, Walkers in the UK did KFC flavor crisps. That was it. We've gone too far. I'll, also, I'm a big- Phil, I think Phil James was a fan of that. Yeah, he's, he's a fan. He's a fan of that. You can tell, look how fat he is. Yeah, he's, he's giant, isn't he? A fat boy. He's giant with his 20 inch waist. Um, I was going to say something, I've totally forgot what it was. It was about wacky cri- I'm, I'll say I'm, it, I'm, it, I'm, I'm spinning, brother. People say the camera has 20 pounds, I didn't realise we had 10 cameras whenever Phil was here. <laughs> Good grief. Oh, oh, Cheetos, Cheetos rule. Yeah. Crunchy ones full, not the the, the bigger ones. I think everyone knows my answer to this because they have to watch it on a regular basis. It's Skittle, Skittles Chewies, I love Skittles Chewies. And shall I go and get some jelly now and demonstrate how I like to- Absolutely not. Okay, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> final question today comes from Douglas Hoey. I thought for a split second there, his name was Douglas. Hi, oh, yeah. But it's Douglas Hoey. <laughs> he says, do you think, how do you think All In is going to air? Cable, streaming on Max? Surely AEW can't be running pay-per-views on back-to-back -back weekends, right? I think I'd seen, I've seen a report on this. Is it right that they're going to do some sort of package deal with All In and All Out? All shake it all about, probably, following that. It, it seems to me like something they should probably announce. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. When is it? Oh, yeah. Six weeks or something? Like my kids uh, arriving pretty soon, and I'm kind of prepared. I feel like all <laughs> AEW is really not. Yeah, I feel like they should announce that ASAP. Uh, doing two paid pay-per-views, yes, I agree. That's asking a lot of your fans, hey, spend $100 on consecutive weeks. I feel like they should either they should do a package deal or air on TV. Obviously, that minimizes the amount of money they're going to yeah. make from it. However, they did say in the press release that it was going to be like a celebration of AEW and TBS or yeah. TNT or whatever. So they could go down that route. Uh, that would be a nice thing to do for your fans. And they've, look, they've, they're going to make like nine million pounds in ticket sales. Why yeah. does this chair keep twisting? What's going on? Sorry. What? So these yours are still yeah, held together you leave, with You leave bits. the Michaels in here one day and they just ruin all the chair. Look, I am helpless to avoid this. Yes. Uh, the, uh, we are pleased, can we report about, uh, we're gonna be at All In. Well, oh, yeah, we're, we, we, but that's about as much as we can report okay. so far, yeah. Say anything else. Everyone's gonna be there apart from him. Yeah, ev everyone <laughs> Literally everyone. gonna be there. Except apart me, because I'll have a baby in it, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, it would make sense that they do some sort of deal. I mean, it's it's not, uh, you know, uh, like AW haven't done that before. Do you remember that definitely real thing that went over the internet where it was like, buy a burger, get 20 tickets for three, there you go. <laughs> yeah, God, yeah. <laughs> People will believe anything if it's, if it's published on the internet, won't they? If, if it if it involves a wrestling promotion that they don't like, there is nothing too ridiculous for them to not believe. Like, you could go out there right now and go, oh, WWE, if you buy a packet of Doritos, you can get the entire plane. If you go buy a packet of Doritos, you get to book one night out, raw. <laughs> yeah, like, literally. Literally, I could tweet that right now, and one person who doesn't like WWE would be like, oh, WWE, idiots. Yeah. Uh, but hey, listen. Hey, tell me what else is ridiculous. This video right here. Oh, look at that. Thanks for watching. See we'll you see later. you tomorrow. <laughs>